Thanksgiving counters worry and leads us to peace. In our passage today from Paul's letter to the church in Philippi, we overhear Paul's instruction to the church in response to their worry. The church in Philippi probably had much to worry over, way more than we do. And so if this advice and instruction was applicable to them, how much more can it be to us? First, Paul tells them to rejoice. But it isn't a general rejoicing. It is rejoicing in the Lord. This rejoicing in the Lord is not forceful or rude in its expression, but demonstrates gentleness in its interaction with others. We rejoice because the Lord is near. Jesus' second coming is closer today than it was yesterday. So we rejoice in him. And because he is near, we need not worry. Instead, we carry everything to God in prayer. But when we carry our desires and worries and anxieties and requests to God in prayer, we do so with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for what God has done, is doing, and will do. It's this prayer of petition with thanksgiving that leads us into God's peace, which passes understanding, and that leaves no room for worry. This Thanksgiving week, seek the peace of God, which passes all understanding.